Hey guys, and um, this is gonna be a tutorial video of how you build something breakable in fun. And it's just gonna be something simple. Hurry up. Alright, so obviously, first you make a ground so you can put something, change this freaking color, whatever. Um, and then what you do is you, uh, you need, you need hinges. So yeah, first we're gonna just, it's gonna be a box, sort of. So you just make like your little planks, um, clone them, clone again, rotate that one, put this. And you want them to be like pretty like straight if you know what I mean like they have to be don't like mess around don't be all messy with this kind of thing cuz yeah all right and now see if you just play just breaks and so what you got to do is you got to hinge them and use one hinge I think one hinge isn't good enough because you'll see how it's gonna be all like wobbly and stuff if objects are simple, they don't really have to be different collision menus. So yeah, as you'll see. And yeah, this is... Now it's on hinges. See, it's not like struggling with just the same collision menu, even though they're together. That's why what's a better idea is to hinge them. This is how I hinge them. I just, yeah, do this. I hinge them five times so they're not really flimsy, at least not as much flimsy. Alright, now after you've done that, uh, now you gotta test it. And uh, as you can see, it's a lot better now. It's not flimsy. Uh, okay, now for the last part. Well, actually, I have a better idea. I'm gonna add like another one, except, let's see. Yeah, and, uh, yep, and this is what happens when, well, uh, the collision menus are, yeah. I don't know if this will help, but, uh, okay, it does. Wow, that's great. And, um, yeah, and that's my simple box. Now I'm going to have to make the collision, which isn't hard at all. What you have to do is you have to, if you look here, you have to find the hinge break limit, which is there. And, um... If your object is heavier, it's going to need more of a um, break limit. So if this thing's very light as it is, you can put it down to like 20. Maybe not. Let's find out. Yeah, you can put it down to 20. And the hinge break limit is how much stress it can take before all the hinges break and the object starts to break. So I'm just going to throw it up in the air. As you can see, nothing happened. No hinges broke. So try again. Throw it up in the air even higher. nothing okay see what I mean it's very tolerant because of the very small weight so I'm gonna make that even lower now make it like six something breakable I made all right what's going on here it seems like it's not breaking at all look at that no damage fine best idea ever where did it go what what did I do Where's the, uh, where the hell? Okay, then I'm just gonna make it so. This better do it better. Oh, come on. Oh, there we are. See, now it's breaking and uh, it's having a freaking seizure. Yeah. 
Yeah, now the box is breaking, having a seizure because the hinges are breaking off because of the same collision menu. That's the problem. So if you want to make this not seizuristic after some damage, you have to change the collision menu. <sighs> okay, almost broken. One more throw. Oh, what? What? Yeah, see, look at that. Now it's, ch see, there you go, it's breaking. And now it's starting to become all flimsy. See, if this were a different collision menu, this would have already, like, it wouldn't be still on here like that because it's, like, inside each other. There you go, see? And uh, now it's starting to break. There you go. That's basically a breakable object. Now I'm going to show you one of my breakables. So yeah, I made all kinds of breakable stuff. Breakable boxes, buildings, glass. Yeah, you know. Okay, building. Box. So yeah, this... I uh, actually did it on one collision menu, but I don't think... Ah, oh, two, that's right, yeah. Yeah, because I did two for these and one for the outside. So I'll just show you exactly how the breakable box works. Oops, geez, it doesn't really work. There you go. See? And there you go. It's broken almost. And there and yeah, that's breakable. What else do I have breakable? Glass. It's not that impressive actually. I like spent little time. Oh, yeah, and with objects like this, you need to always have like a perimeter. You have to, have to always hinge everything, so it doesn't always so it doesn't fall off. That's there you go. See, it's really it's not that impressive. <laughs> um, what's my next breakable? Breakable beer bottle. Yeah, this one's pretty good. This is the one that yeah. And uh, I'll just show you right now. I'll just put it up here, drop it off, boom. And yeah, that's how you make a breakable. Those are my breakables. And uh